Hello, my name is Shannon Mull and I am a pre-K teacher in the Lebanon Special School District. Um, I am here to talk to you about Sounds First and foundational skills. So last year in our district, we implemented the Sounds First curriculum in all of our pre-K classrooms. And I am here to tell you that it worked and it was exciting. And just to encourage you to be consistent with it because it is very beneficial to our students. And the best thing I can say about it is that it's effective and it is easy to implement. It doesn't take a whole lot of time out of the day. Um, we were usually finished with all the activities in 10 minutes, um, sometimes 15, but it, it doesn't take a huge chunk of time. It's super easy because it's very scripted. You just have to read it. There's not really a whole lot of planning that goes into it. Um, they give it all to you. You just have to read it and do it with your kids. And it's it's effective. It works. It's so exciting to see just the difference in what our students were able to do last year. And yeah, it's exciting. I hope they all are excited about it too. Um, we noticed really huge differences in our pre-K students with things like rhyming and syllable production. Um, oftentimes, Producing a rhyme is very difficult for our four-year-olds to learn in pre-K. Um, typically, they can recognize a rhyme if we say it for them, but producing a rhyme is a whole different ballgame. And almost all of my students were able to produce a rhyme, and that is 100% because of Sounds First activities. Um, and same with syllables. All of my students could clap out syllables. They could break a word into syllables and tell you what the syllables were. They could tell you how many syllables the word had. And again, all of that is because of Sounds First. I have never had this many students able to do that by the end of the year. So I promise it works. Um, the two biggest things that I can tell you about it is that consistency is key, doing it every single day. Um, the Lessons kind of build on themselves, at least in pre-K they do, to where it doesn't stay super monotonous. So it's very um, consistent, but it's not, it doesn't get boring or um, monotonous for the kids to do every single day. So that's not a concern there. And the kids really enjoy it. They love, they love to do it. They, they know at that time that it's, that's what we're working on and they're, they're engaged and the hand motions, make sure you teach your kids what the hand motions are or make your own. Um, but the hand motions really do help you. I would see my kids doing the hand motions in other parts in the day, like sounding out a word, you would see them like snatching a beginning sound or snatching a middle sound or an ending sound and then writing it. So they were taking the knowledge that they learned from Sounds First activities and applying it in everything throughout the day. Um, and then we would also just look for opportunities just in our other activities that we were doing where we could just incorporate the Sounds First activities. So obviously the sound like beginning sound, middle sound, ending sound, snatching the sound, those things are easy to implement because we're writing all the time, but other things like syllables, it's really easy to incorporate syllables into like a vocabulary lesson. Oh, here's our vocabulary word. Let's, let's find out how many syllables it has. Can you think of a word that rhymes with it? So we just looked for those opportunities to kind of build them in and then obviously with books. We love to read books that rhyme. And so just kind of pointing that out and just using the same sounds first jargon when you're doing your books and your read alouds, that really helps just to kind of bring it all together for them and make it real life and, you know, to kind of teach them where to apply that knowledge. So those will be the two biggest things is to make sure that you're consistent and try to incorporate it in other times and other instances throughout your day just to solidify it. Um, but if you are excited about it, then rock on because you're going to love it. Um, if you're still a little bit leery because it's new, I totally get it because I was that way also. Um, just know that it's it works. It's research-based and it is best for kids. And we have seen in pre-K, not just in my classroom, in all nine of our classrooms, that it's effective. So you will know 
that you're spending your time wisely and your kids will learn from it and it will be something that sticks with them forever. They will always need the skills that they're going to learn in Sounds First with foundational skills. So um, if I can help in any way, please reach out. Um, Mandy Pittman is also a wonderful resource, so please reach out to her. Um, but if I can help at all, feel free to reach out to me as well, shanen.mo at lssd.org. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.